Hello, this is Mario Meraz. Um, today I am going to talk about DevOps. Why DevOps is so important. We already know that DevOps means development and operations, which means continuous delivery and also continuous integration. Why DevOps is important is because nowadays uh, in the delivery time frame we can deliver a code in terms of uh, sprints which means one sprint is equivalent to one week delivery time frame. By these matters, the fact that uh, we, we are able to deliver code in a smooth way and also in agile manner, that's gonna increase our pipeline in terms of software delivery. Why this is important in the telecom industry? Because nowadays we can test one feature in let's say in one month it is going to depend on the size of the feature and also the code that is involved in the feature but this is really important because we can have that now that we are talking about 5g i am quite sure that there are going to be a lot of development pipelines in terms of iot software in terms of virtual network functions in terms of cops control plane user plane separation in terms of a slicing because 5g is software oriented therefore having a devops approach in the telco industry is is really really important i just wanted you guys to bear that in mind start embedding devops philosophy in your organization and please keep in mind that you can sort of like spread the uh, methodologies all over your different departments and different stage of uh, the software uh, creation well again this is Mario Meraz and I hope you enjoyed this video thanks I know, I know that my intro sounds like a pretty, pretty serious, but okay, now let's start the fun. Let's talk about DevOps as an agile methodology for 5G. A little bit about me, a legal disclaimer about this information, all this information that I am going to present is public. Okay, we can see. The DevOps environment and also the ecosystem is it's pretty, pretty, pretty large. As we can see, we have a lot of options, a lot of open source out there, a lot of possibilities in order to build new solutions. And I just want to picture this in your mind that DevOps is not only about a couple of tools. DevOps could be a lot of uh, different technologies, a lot of different software approaches. I like this picture from these guys from Sevilla Labs because it portrays what sort of like uh, the um, DevOps philosophy entails because it, it is not only about uh, just databases, it's also about cloud technologies, it's also about monitoring, tooling, it's also about logging, testing, uh, continuization, collaboration, security, um, repos, repositories. Um, deployment tooling as well it is really 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 a broad spectrum of uh, different uh, tools available and just I would like to portray this idea that in order to do DevOps you got a lot of options but at the same time this is gonna add a lot of complexity to your uh, current deployment okay let's let's move on to the next step Okay, normally we see these sort of like pictures when we try to convey any sort of like a new ideas or any sort of like a solutions that we have already tested and our team members, may, maybe they are reluctant to try a new approach. Sometimes this is the, the, the way that we feel. Just wanted to bring a little bit of fun to this presentation and this is the way that sometimes I, I feel myself. But anyway, this is what it is. Okay, why there is a lot of noise about DevOps? This is because DevOps has been um, in the main sort of like plans and also on top of their um, CTO signs. They are thinking about how to improve, you know, their core 
development cycles. Garner put in place this data, these statistics, and this is the way that uh, Garner sees what's going on. You know, Garner normally collects a lot of information and a lot of data in order to portray this sort of like uh, views about how the perception of the different technologies is out there among the industry. Uh, how the technology is out there, how the impression or the, um, the view about this technology is, is being perceived and also is being viewed by others. And as we can see, the box is on top of uh, different technologies like smart, smart machine enabled uh, services. It's on top of uh, business consulting as well. It's on top of uh, IoT and big data. And as we can see, it's, it's on the edge of the conversation. Therefore, I think we are going to see this trend uh, perhaps going up. I don't know. But uh, as it is right now, this is the new way to speak a software life cycle. And DevOps is the approach. OK, I love this uh, quote uh, from Peter Drucker. Sometimes we plan ahead, we put in place a lot of steps in order to launch any service, launch any, any software, launch any product, but we face the culture roadblock. This is something really important to bear in mind because every time that we face a new technology, a new approach, a new way of doing things, we are going to face a lot of resistance. Just I wanted to bring this in, uh, to your attention because this is the way it is and just we need to be aware of, about this. Okay, this is the agenda. I am going to jump over a couple of uh, topics on this agenda and let's start with the phone. Why in your organization you don't think about adopting DevOps as soon as possible? Why you are wasting time in adopting a DevOps approach. I know, I know the effort is so huge, it's so important for your organization that maybe you don't have the budget, maybe you don't have the, the OPEX, maybe you don't have the CAPEX in order to go ahead and pursue a DevOps technology, but you need to think that somebody out there, any hacker institution, any individual or autonomous hacker is thinking in terms of life cycle approaches and they are looking for your box they are looking for the flaws and because our solutions and also our software either our software or either our infrastructure is not flawless therefore they are going to find our weaknesses then we need to start thinking in devops approaches okay this is the way that high performing teams normally adopt the DevOps technology. These are the reasons. They like to improve the quality of their software deployments. They like to have more software releases. And I am gonna talk about this specific topic because as I have already mentioned, in a 5G network, in a new approach to deploy software, the way of doing this is totally different. And then because we are talking about virtual network functions and then sometimes the carriers they are going to face the fact to start deploying new features every single month perhaps i don't know but well these are the current uh, challenges and also the current uh, reasons why these high performing teams wants to adopt a devops methodology why devops needs to be taken into account with a lot of uh, carefulness is because you are impacting the culture. You are also bringing automation to your organization and also you are thinking lean. But anyway, you are going to face resistance whenever you try to implement a lean methodology in your organization. Metrics, everybody lives on metrics and then we need to be aware of that the metrics are going to be important. And sharing, sharing knowledge. The last one is the one that is going to face less resistance because in the IT technology, in the software uh, industry, I think we are just to do sharing. 
these are the main technologies why DevOps is so important for a 5G deployment or for a 5G software life cycle because there is orchestration because there is a new way to do infrastructure that is called network function virtualization because we have a specific features called COPS control plane and user plane separation and all of these plus network slicing are going to demand new ways to do uh, software lifecycle deployments these are the specific technologies virtual network functions because all the network elements are going to be virtualized uh, application programmability interfaces because all our different solutions nowadays are going to have different APIs in order to interact with other different solutions and having these different interfaces in order to uh, have inputs and outputs as well automation and orchestration is going to be in the main discussion about uh, DevOps cloud software workflows, microservices, service chaining and all these technologies, all these new different um, approaches are going to be so important for a, an organization. These are the reasons why an organization needs to adopt a DevOps approach. The main challenges from the you know overall perspectives are these ones, awareness, acceptance and adoption. And we are going to talk about the specific which ones are the DevOps phases, the one that, you know, where normally the software is created, that one is in the section of the development. Plus, we need to start with the planning, creation, the verification stage, and also when you put together that solution, that uh, specific uh, software in a package. Plus, then you go uh, towards a release phase and you configure your monitor and then the cycle goes again with the development phase therefore you have an agile methodology in place because you are interacting all the time between all these different phases and different uh, stages we need to take into account all these aspects in all these different stages because in every single step, we are going to face different sort of like different models, different logics, uh, different service tests, different service design levels. That those aspects are going to be in the development process. In the operations, we are going to create, modify, delete uh, service instances, plus run activation tests, ongoing service monitoring, detect service level agreement violations and also you are going to be able to do troubleshooting plus heal and retest whenever is needed in a nutshell devops means counts because we need to think in a new way to do things we need to change the culture we need to start thinking in automation all over the place, all over the different stages, all over the different um, stages of the life cycle, lean. We need to be lean because nowadays the time to market uh, requirements are so aggressive that we need to be lean in order to reach with the, with the cost uh, calculations and also with the OPEX and CAPEX that we have in place. Therefore, lean is a, is a common word that we need to take into account. Measurement, everything needs to be measured in all the different stages and sharing culture needs to be embedded in all the above new philosophy of doing things. Every time that a, an organization brings a DevOps approach to their organization, uh, once that they try the automation they are going to be in love of these new different uh, practices and then they are going to adopt the automation way of thinking and the automation uh, methodologies plus the tooling and the different uh, approaches that all the automation brings to the table
orchestration is in the main core of the DevOps discussion. Therefore, when we talk about orchestration, we are talking the way to do DevOps. Then we are talking about now about DevSecOps, which is another different topic, but is related with DevOps. But this is the second stage. Whenever you have already uh, put in place your different process about DevOps, then you need to start talking about the DevSecs because you need to embed this DevSec philosophy in your DevOps uh, culture. Because that's the way that you are going to be um, defending your software lifecycle and you need to be prepared with the security methodologies software lifecycle deployment. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this presentation. I'm looking forward to continue talking about different 5G and software related topics. Overall, this is what it is. Looking forward to release the next video as soon as possible. Thanks a lot for watching this video.